All right, Gadex City, we have arrived. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Clover. I found a shiny square wrap, and uh, Gremlin ended up killing it with poison. <laughs> but Gremlin also learned smog. Um, Decker learned mud slap. I think I recorded that part. Uh, Keck learned defense girl. Kim learned sing, which is going to be really nice. Pecker learned sand attack, and uh, I guess that's it. We've got a pretty good variety of Pokemon now, so uh, I think I'll be able to make it through the woods without any any more trouble. My Pokemon were massively underleveled the last time around, so grinding them up to level 7 uh, didn't take that long. It's when you get to the higher levels that grinding is extremely difficult. And uh, some of the Pokemon have uh, different... EXP values that they need to meet in order to uh, get higher. Like, Squirrap has one of the lowest ones, which kind of tells me that uh, he, she will be replaced eventually. Trainer tips! Locking eyes with a trainer is not consent. Always express permission before <laughs> engaging in a battle. Ah, that's true. Um, I also caught a Mei Mei. I haven't looked at it. It is in my PC box. Um, but I found a couple of them. They were relatively rare, so I decided to pick one up, and uh, if we end up needing it, then that'll be great. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and pull it out of the box, but for now, it, uh, it shall rot. Rotten memes. Although, uh, I did name my meme the dankest, because probably, probably gonna be the dankest meme ever. The birdhouse is aggressive! Um, I'm gonna leave that other birdhouse near the beginning, uh, and try and catch it later once I get some great balls or ultra balls. But I'm not going to waste my time trying to, uh, trying to catch these, this thing. Uh, unfortunately acid in this game doesn't seem to drop special defense, but it is still one of my favorite moves. One of the, uh, best Pokemon that I had in my Fire Red Nuzlocke run was a Cradley who had acid, and his nickname was Use Acid. So now we'll, uh, we'll use acid! Come on, Gremlin! Use acid! Use acid! I'm tripping balls, bro! And look at all of this delicious XP that's probably gonna come from the birdhouse. 78, hmm. That's half a level right there. Right there, son. Uh, I'm a little bit lost in the woods, as I suppose would be expected. In the woods! Uh, so I think I went right the last time and I went up this time and obviously that's a dead end as well so I'll run away from this larvades and we'll uh continue trying to do something trying to get through this fucking hell hole that I've dug myself into man there are a lot of those things I didn't think they would be so uh so plentiful here we were seeing a lot of uh a lot of another pokemon earlier but yeah, I guess that's all over now. Hmm, which way to go? Which way to go? This is always the question. Okay, that's the guy I battled the last time, so I think we're getting closer. There's another birdhouse mon, which uh, I'm not really going to screw with too much. I basically just want to get through these woods and uh, maybe battle another trainer if that's feasible. Which I assume that it is. We could do that if we want. Hmm. I'm wondering if this is the right way or not. Probably not. Um, another larvades. Maybe I should just catch one. Maybe I should give in. But if I if I find a little higher level one, I will. It probably evolves at level seven. And there's that guy that was running around. The funny bugs guy? My bugs expect a lot from jokes. I'm sure they do. They're bugs. They've got a gigantic brain. Ooh, Clover. That is a, a grass type. I already have a grass type in the form of Douglas. But uh, maybe I should catch this thing. Or not. <laughs> we'll just kill it with an acid to the face. Ah, acid attack. Maybe I do have Aerobomb after all. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because acid attacks happen a lot in Muslim countries. Wow. <laughs> That's a, a tasteless joke. A tasteless joke, Dayton. I did find out Curry Crawl was a, a pure bug type. And uh, I thought he was going to be the funny bug. But he ain't so funny. 
He ain't so funny. That fucking guy over there. Hmm. I am certainly lost in these woods. This is not good. That lady doesn't look familiar. Have I have I seen this lady before? Maybe this clove war. If you can survive an acid attack, then you will be worthy to come with me. If not, then you die. <laughs> and it was a crit. Oh well. Gremlin is getting some uh, nice experience out of the deal. So, that's always helpful. Yeah, you are a different lady, aren't you? I like you, Pokemon. Do you have any? I uh, I guess. Maybe. You like... <laughs> what is that shit called? Where you stick like a, a plug of ginger in your butt and it, it burns your butt? I can't remember what it's called. God damn it. Uh, but that's what Douglas does. Is that cute? I know Gremlin's not cute. Uh, my my fried chicken mon is kind of cute though. Hey, I like uh Kekroach too. I fucking hate cockroaches. I don't think anybody actually likes cockroaches, but uh, for some reason Kekroach has grown on me already. Dark and Bug type. I don't think he will be replaced. That's why I'm not uh, bothering pulling out the Curry Crawl or catching any of these larvades because uh, <laughs> catching larvades. Uh, yeah, I think Kekroach is going to be with us for quite a while. <clears throat> Picotin. Ooh. Picochu. Let's see what Kim can do. I want to try out that sing attack. Even though, you know, rappers don't necessarily sing. Oh my god, it's Picoton. Pico Picoton. And Cotton Spore is going to slow me down significantly, I do think. Oh yes, yeah, speed harshly fell. Well, that's fine. You go sleepy now. Wah, 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 wah. That's the same song Jigglypuff knows. That's amazing. <clears throat> Let's see what the tackle is able to do against this thing. I wonder if it has any attacks of its own, or if we'll be able to find out what its attacks are. Maybe I'll just kill it. Maybe I'll crit it right now. Wouldn't that be so nice? I would enjoy that quite a lot. Mm, yes, indeed. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen, though. He's going to wake up. There it is. And another Cotton Spore. Luckily it misses. I don't know if he has any attacks. What the fuck is happening? Oh, there it is. Probably a Thunder and Grass type, I would assume. It's definitely not the most creative Fakemon that I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. It's Pikachu sitting on top of a fucking ice cream cone. Slash Cotton Spore. Slash whatever the hell that is. But now it's dead. Kim got a shit ton of experience. Boom. Level 8 already? Everybody's growing up so fast. Last Aerith. So cute! Yeah, I guess, I guess, uh... What is that? Score wrap? Kind of a cute mon. Let's put Pecker in the front, just so we can get him leveled up. Pecker and Decker. <laughs> I like that. I didn't notice that at all. But I enjoy! So this is the correct path through the woods. You gotta go far to the right. Which I did not before. Hello! I'm a classic bug fan. Oh, well... I'm a, a classic Pokemon fan, but I'm also enjoying my time in Pokemon Clover. There's Gusticoon. Oh my god, it looks so terrible. It's horrifying! Luckily we have our flying type in the front, so we should be able to just peck the crap out of it. I wonder if it knows Harden like most of the others, or if it's just going to keep tackling me. It doesn't really matter. Either way, there's the Harden. So he does! Oh, Gutsicoon, not Gusticoon. I guess that makes a little more sense, because none of the bugs that I've seen so far have been flying. Oh, look at that! Experience up the ass! And, uh, we're at level 8 already. Got quick attack for Pecker. That's super nice. Now you've got a birdhouse. I'm going to switch into somebody. Let's go with Decker. Pecker, come back! Decker, go! <laughs> so this birdhouse shouldn't be able to do too much against my lovely rock type. Uh, I also can't mud slap it, but that's fine. Block. Ooh, that's a move I haven't seen on a birdhouse before. Well, here comes the horn attacks. A little bit less damage than I would like, but I guess that's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Every little thing gonna be alright. He's doing some uh, decent damage, actually. I didn't expect it to be so powerful. How did it get so powerful? Those tackles are uh, quite something. So, is the gust? Yeah, the gust is not super effective. Man, then the, the tackles are uh, 
neutral, but they, they fucking hurt. So hopefully he's not going to use any more of those. I can't switch into Douglas at the moment because um, he's a grass type. He's going to get ate up by that gust. And so is Keck. So Decker is definitely my best choice at the moment. I'll go ahead and toss him a potion. Should buy just a few more. I didn't buy antidotes or anything before I came back into the, the woods, which is something that I told myself that I'd do. But you know how plans go. Man makes plans, and then God... Uh, probably doesn't care. <laughs> Man makes plans, and God does whatever he wants to. Man tr forgets about his plans, and uh, God still just kind of ignores whatever you're doing down there. Hey, what's going on down there? Y you guys doing okay? I don't even get that much from him. But he does take care of me. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I feel taken care of. Oh, that tackle. Gosh. Alright. So, uh, maybe one more potion just so I can make sure that I live. I'm very scared of this birdhouse now. It's super powerful. I didn't think it was, uh, catchable. But they're, they're littering this place. It's just interesting to me that they're, uh, kind of like legendaries. They're just walking around and shit like that. Decker, level 8. Hell yeah, boy. Oh, double levels. Level 9, check me out. Check me out now. So Decker is caught up with Douglas now, which is uh, quite a nice thing. In my opinion, we got to get Keck up to level 8. Just caught up with his buddies. And let's see what this sign say. Trainer tips. Volume down makes the sound get quieter. Volume up makes it louder. What a crazy world we live in, huh? <laughs> yes, it is, sir. Alright, so we seem to have made it through the forest. I don't want to jump down there. <laughs> hey, it's my buddy! Dean, you're here already. I hate forests. Too green, too natural. They'd be much better if they were black and red. But enough talk. It's time to beat you and your team into a bloody pulp. Well, I've done some leveling. I don't know if you're ready to handle what I got to, to throw at you. He's only got two Pokemon, I got six. This shit's gonna be piece of cake. He's got a Nauseon though, which I know is uh, probably gonna end up poisoning me. See if I can astonish it. Nope, it is definitely faster than me. That's okay. We'll do whatever we can against it. Maybe a little bit of Leer. Oh, it knows Metronome. Interesting. Rock Climb, that's a pretty powerful attack. Really high power normal attack. Well, we'll get the, the leer on that thing and then I'll switch the hell out of here. And hopefully he uses metronome again. Um, let's send in our own Nauseon. That would be a good idea. Just because I know this guy won't end up getting poisoned. But that tackle, mmm, pretty hurdy. Pretty hurdy. Acid isn't gonna do much against this thing either. Oh, fucking leech seeds. Oh, God. Ugh. Well, got a critical. It doesn't seem to do too much, even with the crit and the leer on top of it. So, um, maybe we switch again. Maybe we switch again. Maybe we go into Pecker. Maybe we show this thing what for, huh? Huh? Don't use smog. Okay, just tackle. <laughs> I don't want my Pokemans to get poisoned. That's terrible. Here's the metronome again. Transform. Okay, that's interesting. Now I can switch into my rock type. I don't have to worry about poison type attacks anymore. Um, let's try and quick attack that thing. But he's still faster. Shit! Almost lost my pecker. <laughs> that's funny. And all that experience is split up, but that's just fine. Now he's got the air bomb waiting in the wings. I still don't have a water type to really counter it. I do want Keck to get some experience, but, um, yeah, it's going to be difficult to find a, a decent switch in. Actually, uh, Decker could be a decent switch in because he does have ground type attacks now. His air bomb is at level 10. I know I'm probably going to get a fire move to the face. Uh, let's see if Kim might do something, and if not, then we can get a free switch into Decker. There's the Ember. Ooh, terrifying. Critical hit. Fuck, this thing's got some rage. Alright, that's gonna be just fine. 
I'll get some mud slaps on him. Drop that accuracy. It's gonna be awesome. Ember probably still pretty effective. Oh no, it's not. I, I don't know my typings. <laughs> so super effective mud slap, and this is going to fuck his accuracy up. He's got no Pokemon left to switch into, so this should end up being a pretty easy fight as long as Decker can stay on the field. This thing knows Metronome too, what the fuck? Does everything know Metronome? I don't understand. He uses that uh, Shadow Punch from Metronome. The embers are still coming at me hard. Um, I'm thinking about another potion. I don't really know if that's so necessary though. Oh, he's got some healing items. Orinberry. Hmm, that's not gonna be good. Alright. I got some healing items of my own. I'll buy some new potions. Don't worry, guys. There's plenty of potions to go around. He's missing his tackles now, which tells me that the mud slap is doing its work. Uh, but here comes the metronome again. Camouflage. What does that shit do? Transformed into the normal type. Well, at least the mud slaps are not gonna be super effective against him. Um,. But that doesn't matter so much. I was mostly using Mud Slap because it drops his accuracy through the floor. I don't want him to be able to hit me. I don't have a fighting type that will be able to handle or uh, super effectively hit the normal type that he's turned into. But that's okay. His accuracy is piss poor now. Uh, below half, I do think. So let's get... Uh, I don't want to switch back into Keck. Because if he does hit me with an ember, I'm going to end up regretting my decision immensely. See? See? There's the ember, and it hit, and Decker was also burned. Fuck. That is not good at all. I'm not going to be doing any damage against this thing. Well, what to do? What to do? Gremlin's looking in pretty good health, I guess. So we'll send him out, see if we can't get some poison. Poison on this thing! Even though, uh, you know... He's already poisoned in his mind. <laughs> Here comes the smog. Hopefully, pray for poison. Come on, let's do it. There it is. Come on. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So now we got this thing on the fucking ropes. It's Orenberry's gone. Let's see if we can acid it to death. Live the tackle. Oh. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Well, we switch back into Keck. I'll roll the dice. Make things a little interesting, shall we? Hmm? I'll go ahead and try and tackle that thing. Ember misses, thank goodness. Although, uh, yeah. I was, I was hoping to make things spicy. Not like, not like hot spicy, but like heat spicy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Some pretty good experience for Keck. Alright. I lost. Huh. Yay, give me your money. I need all the money. Stupid forest. All the green colors messed me up. Yeah, that's what it is. Dayton. Farewell. <laughs> I knew you were going to say farewell. Leaving Battalia Woods. Gadex City ahead. Oh yeah. How you living? People tend to underrate a Pokemon called Blobos. It has the power to transform into any other Pokemon, and it learns a lot of moves. Sadly, it lacks it in the stats departments. Hmm... I like uh, Ditto slash Blobos or whatever the fuck you guys call it over here. I heard there are people that make mistakes, but go back in time to a state where those mistakes were never made. But only a casual world would do that. Fact. <laughs> Just because you're correct doesn't mean you're right. It, what? <laughs> it, yes, it does. That's exactly what it means. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a berry tree holding a chilean berry. Yes, please give to me. Chilean berries, delicious. It appears to have no berries. Well, yeah, I took the berry. D don't you understand how that works? You take the berry off the tree and then it has, has no berries. Is this a, a battle? I believe the morning sun's always gonna shine again. Yep, for now. Until the apocalypse. Whoa! There's a Kenjin. Wild Kenjin. Let us run. I know it's going to try and peck my keck. <laughs> Kick peck. All right, Gadex City, we have arrived. This game was purposely designed not to be nuzlocked, but if you seem to think you have the balls for it, be my guest, buddy. Well, it's a good thing I decided not to, I suppose. Hey there. Ever heard of Wonder Trading? Recently, we developed a new trading network across the region. If you're interested and want to hear more, follow me. 
Okay, bye. <laughs> what are you doing? I really want a pea cotton, so I'm exchanging my pixela for one. What's a pea cotton? Oh yeah, we saw that. What's a pixela? <laughs> I don't know anything! Everything's fucking different! I'm trading my Pokemon with that kid over there. I had two pea cottons, so I figured I might as well trade one. Oh, that, that's pretty generous of you, guy. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Yeah, yeah, just here. Here's the Pokemons. Heal them, please, thank you. Wonderful. What's your name? Nurse Nurse Happy? Okay. <laughs> See you later, Nurse Happy. Uh, I want to check out the stats on that Pokemans that I caught. The dankest Maymay. Show me your summary. Adamant Nature. Ooh. Increases attack, decreases special attack. Yeah. So that could be pretty good. It is a normal type. It's got the Hustle ability. Trades accuracy for power. That's not bad either. Only Tackle and Growl, and it's only level 2. But, uh, if I decide to switch out Pokemans, namely Squirrap, because that's my other normal type. But right now, I'm, I'm digging Squirrap. He's pretty cool. Cheerly, so cute, I'll never let it become a Menopause. <laughs> menopause. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, buddy. Like I said earlier. Um... You can now want to trade with people all over the world. Just talk to the nice woman here. That's it. Just thought I should let you know. Hi, nice woman. Hello. Would you like to make a wonder trade? Okay. Yeah, let's save the game. Sure. Whatever. My Pokedex is 16 already. I'm filling it up. Please choose a Pokemon to trade. Uh, never mind. Please do visit again. I don't want to give away my Pokemans. I got the best Pokemans. Best Pokemans in the game that I know of. <laughs> I.e. the only ones I've encountered thus far. Hello, little girl. I used to watch the Fortune Cup before I got rigged by gay-loving netbeards. Guy-loving netbeards? <laughs> what? <laughs> My grandson has so much anger built up inside, I'm afraid I'll one day flame on an anonymous image board. That's true. Probably so. What's on TV? Nothing, because the TV's turned off. Oh, yeah. Dishes and plates are neatly lined up. Oh, that's so nice. It smells delicious. Somebody's been cooking here. It smells delicious. The sink does not smell delicious. Do not smell your sink. This is a tip from your friend Dayton does. Uh, how about this? What's in here? Repel? Hmm, would have liked that while I was in the woods. But that's okay. We got it now. Oh god. I, I didn't want to read the sign. I just want to get the berry. Charty berry. I don't know what any of these berries do! I know a few berries, but uh, yeah, most of them are a mystery. I swear I saw a blue blob thing around here somewhere. Blue blob? I want a blue blob! Give one to Dayton, please! Moss dog, sit! Bark, bark! Oh, okay. Hey kid, I'm trading something that's good against the gym leader's Pokemon. Do you have a Guts of Fly? I'll trade you a Pronch for it. Uh, I saw one in the in the woods, but I don't have one. Hmm, guess you don't need my help. You could prob probably I could get one by uh, evolving that uh, bug that I have sitting in the PC. Ooh, all right, team, move it. What's all that about? Did you see that? Fairy types come from the moon. That's what the story is. You're from the moon. Everyone knows that's just an old folk tale. You didn't see the thing that was just happening. The fuck? Damn. Hello, guy. You like having fun? I'd like to teach you about a little move called Metronome. Okay. Which Pokemon should I teach? Ooh. Ah, Metronome. All right. Kim wants it. She's she's a rap battler. Cool. You're now my randomizer friend. I can teach it to your other Pokemon too. Oh. Okay. Everybody's gonna learn Metronome then. Gremlin learn Metronome. I fucking love Metronome. You should always have fun in battle. You're you're right, dude. I like this guy. He's amazing. Pecker learn Metronome. <laughs> yeah. I want all of my Pokemons to have Metronome. All right, Decker. Here's a Metronome for you. And uh, two more. <laughs> Excellent, Douglas. And I think Kex moves are full, but I'll get rid of Leer so I can teach it Metronome. That's just fine. Kek already knows four moves. 
Let's forget Leer. Because Leer can be a... Uh... Basically, when you fate the Pokémon that you're fighting, Leer goes away. But if you Defense Curl, that's going to stay through the whole fight. So it's better to boost your stats than reduce the opponent's stats. At least in my opinion. Keck forgot Leer. Keck learned Metrodome. Fuck yeah. You should always have fun in battle. I agree. I like that guy. He's my BFF. Ooh, look at these badasses. Nonsense. The Goldberg Rubenstein Corporation only owns 86% of Pokemon shares. How could we control anything? Here, Goy, have a free potion. It's on the house. Oy vey! These potions are not addictive or anything. Don't buy these things. They're all owned by Jews. They control us. We got rid of all their competitors, so now they charge outrageous prices for potions and Pokeballs. Well, China's still got a corner on the shitty Pokeball market. A shady old guy sucked me into buying this weird fish Pokemon. It's totally an asshole and it costs 500 poke. That's what the, the currency's called, isn't it? I think so. Um, let's get some potions. I don't have enough for too many of them. But I'll buy what I can. No wonder this game wasn't meant to be, uh, nuzlocked. It's exceedingly difficult! Heal Ball. Oh, that's pretty nice. And then Dire Hit. I don't need that. Just those, those once per battle items. Boost your Pokémon stats, but only for one battle. What the fuck? Why? Oh, Brock is the leader here? Rock solid Pokemon trainer. Dang. Well? Developed on the kernel of technology, Gadex City! Welcome! What is this? Blue Blob? That's the Blue Blob the guy's talking about! It's right here! Blobbo is slept. Take Blobby? You have no room for this Blobby. Aww. But I want Bobby. <laughs> How is Bobby formed? How girl get prognant? This is the the thing that transforms into other Pokemans. So, um, I want to grab it. I just want to grab it real quick. Just so I can have it. I probably won't end up using it. Because, uh, yeah, its stats are shit. But then again, maybe, maybe it could be fun. And you should always have fun in battle. The metronome guy said. Blabo is slept. Come here, Blob. You received Blabos. Hooray! Give a nickname to this Bulby. <laughs> um Is his name Blabos or Bulby? Alright, I'm just gonna call him Balls. Balls! <laughs> My little baby balls! Let's check out what his stats are like. Hmm, level five. That's not very good. Mild nature. Hmm, it is called Blobos, not Blobby. Well, maybe it already had a nickname. It is Ice and Rock, which is kind of interesting. Mild nature, increased defense, decreased special attack. Huge power raises attack, that's pretty cool. It knows Tackle and Rest. Ice and Rock. Interesting. I don't think that I'll end up using it. Um, I already have a, a Rock type or ground type, or whatever the hell Decker is, so... I'll stash this guy for now. Maybe a little later in the game I'll get to... get to figuring out what these Pokémon do's. what it do? Party Pokémon. Hey, party Pokémon! Shift. There you go. Enjoy the box! Aren't you glad you're, you came with me? So you can live in the box forever? <laughs> Anyways, friends. This has been uh, Pokemon Clover, part number three. We're in Gaddick City, making some really good progress. I don't know how long this thing's gonna last, but uh, I want it to last forever. I want to find out about all 250 of these new Pokemans, and uh, I'm glad you're joining me, joining me for the experience. I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you watched this far. I hope to see you in the next one, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, bringing you Pokemon Clover. And until the next time, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.